Hey there, it's Mike with KimiCloud back with another great video. How to use FileZilla with SFTP. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. How to generate new SSH key pairs in cPanel. How to add your hosting account as a bookmark in FileZilla. And how to connect to your hosting account using SFTP and FileZilla. Before we proceed, Please note, you need to download and install FileZilla. We've put a link to the official download page for FileZilla in the video description below. Let's get started. In this section, I'll show you how to generate new SSH key pairs in cPanel to use in FileZilla. First, you need to open your cPanel. As you can see, mine is already open. Next, scroll down to the Security section and click SSH Access to open the utility. The SSH Keys tool allows you to create private and public keys which you can use to securely connect to your hosting account. If you are hosting with KimiCloud, creation of these keys is not optional. Without creating and authorizing SSH keys, you will not be able to connect via FileZilla using the SFTP protocol. Next, click Manage SSH Keys. On the Manage SSH Keys page, you have two options. First, you can create a new key, and second, you can import an existing key. If you have a key that you use in a broader sense rather than one specifically created for this hosting account, you can use the import feature to bring that key into this cPanel so you can use it on your hosting account. For this tutorial, however, we'll be generating a new key, so go ahead and click on Generate a New Key. There's a few options here. Let's examine them. For the name of this key, let's give it the name FileZilla. Think of the key's password as something that unlocks the key and makes it usable. Enter something that you'll remember. Next, ensure the key type is RSA and the key size is 2048. Finally, click Generate Key. cPanel will generate the key and give us a confirmation screen. Click Go Back at the bottom to return to the SSH access area. In order to make this key work, we need to authorize it. As you can see from the list of public keys, it's not authorized. To authorize this key, click Manage. To authorize the key for use when connecting to this account, click Authorize. Now click Go Back to return to the SSH access area. Lastly, we need to download the private key for use later with FileZilla. To do that, under Private Keys, click View and Download next to the key called FileZilla. cPanel gives us the option to download this key as a key file, or if you scroll down, you can enter the password that you used when you created this key to convert the key to PPK format. Go ahead and enter the password that you used when you created this key, and then click the blue Convert button. Perfect. The key will be changed into PPK style key. To save it to your computer, just click the download key button. That concludes this section on how to create your SSH keys in cPanel for use in FileZilla. In the next section, we'll cover how to set up the connection to your hosting account as a bookmark in FileZilla. In this section, we'll cover how to set up the connection to your hosting account as a bookmark in FileZilla. First, open FileZilla. You could set FileZilla up to quickly connect to the server using the connect features at the top, but then you would have to enter your login credentials each time you want to reconnect. That would be cumbersome. Instead, let's add our hosting account as a bookmark in FileZilla to make it easy to connect to every time we open the app. To do that, 
Click the Site Manager icon in the top left corner of FileZilla. When the Site Manager opens, click the New Site button. We need to give our connection a name, so I'm going to call mine my hosting account. Next, on the right side of FileZilla, let's configure some settings. First, next to Protocol, click the drop-down menu and choose SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol. In Host, enter the IP address of the server you're connecting to, and in Port, enter 1988. Next, for login type, choose Key File from the drop down menu. Enter the username for your cPanel account, then click Browse and locate the PPK file you downloaded in the previous step. Finally, click OK. This will save the connection as a bookmark so you can use it the next time you open FileZilla. The very first time you save a site, FileZilla will ask you if you would like it to remember passwords. I find this feature to be very handy and I do encourage people to enable it. However, for a little extra security, you can enable the use of an additional password to protect your FileZilla, just in case you want extra security. That concludes this section on how to set up a bookmark for your hosting account in FileZilla. In the next section, I will show you how to use that bookmark to connect to your hosting account in FileZilla. In this section, I will show you how to use that bookmark that you created to connect to your hosting account in FileZilla. First, make sure you have FileZilla open. Next, click the Site Manager in the top left corner. Look for the bookmark we created in the previous step and make sure it's highlighted, and then click Connect in the lower right corner. The first time you connect to the server, you'll see a message that the server's host key is unknown. Well, of course it is. This is the first time that I've used this computer to connect to the server. I'm going to click Always Trust This Host and add the key to the cache so that I'm not prompted for this the next time I connect. And then I'm going to click OK. Next, I need to enter the password that I used when I created this key then click OK. And just like that, we're connected. Congratulations! You successfully set up an SFTP connection to the server where your hosting account resides, and you've also created a bookmark in the Site Manager of FileZilla so that you can quickly reconnect to it the next time you need to. Alright, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimmy Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry along with a fast, secure, and reliable cloud hosting platform, all backed up by five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out for 45 days worry-free. We're so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services. If you're not happy, you get your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the coming weeks. Have a great day, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.